Yardley, what's the strangest habit that you have? I'm an obsessive dental flosser. Oh. Mm-hmm. How often? No, like four times a day. You know, <laughs> after every meal, and then if there's just some suspected piece of something in my teeth, I'm off to the loo to floss my teeth. So you keep uh, like a whole thing of floss in your bag? Oh, yeah, in every bag. What else? Even is the in- evening bag. There's what? floss in the evening bag. What else is in your bag? <laughs> What's in your daytime bag? Um, in my daytime bag, uh, cash. Obviously, my ID. I carry uh, little tiny nail clippers because I don't like my nails to snag on things, even though I don't have really pretty nails. Um, what else? I try. Actually, I'm not. I don't keep a lot of stuff in my bag. I don't. I don't want to be a camel. Are you a, a minimalist or a? maximalist i'm a minimalist i hate clutter i love to throw things out i'm a good purger there are a few things to me that are really dear i have a lot of clothes actually um if i spend my money on any sort of luxury item it's clothing where do you shop uh i shop online a lot i'm quite good at it now i know what my what works for my body and here's my here for anybody who isn't well versed in shopping online and wants to know like what's the key the key is when you see that garment on the model that's as good as it's ever going to look so if you're on the fence about it there don't get it and they say that about in the store too if you're going to shop retail you are never going to like it as much as you like it in the dressing room so if you don't love it don't Don't get it it. yep 100 percent. what is one of your guilty pleasures uh you know, it's such a funny phrase, and I, I, I feel like, why is pleasure ever guilty? Why do we ever have to feel bad about liking something? Um, so, I don't have any guilty pleasures, but one of my recent pleasures is the Great British Baking Show. Okay. The Great British Baking Show is so good, because it's there's so no good. drama, I except know. in the cooking. I know. And there is so much drama in the I cooking, know. And or the everything's baking. so beautiful. Yes. Like, the food is beautiful, and everybody's so cheerful, and the hosts are great. Even the um, Paul Hollywood, who's the mean host, mean judge, he's not that mean. You know, he's he's critical, but he's reasonable. If your cake looks like shit, but it tastes great, he'd be like, it's a bit of a mess, but the f- taste is phenomenal. Yes, yes. I love that. And I love Mary Berry, but she's not on it. No, she's not. But the new um, judge, Prue, I forget her last name. She's great, too. Yeah, she's terrific. It's a good show. Definitely not a guilty so pleasure. Good. No. So what are, you obs- <laughs> what are you obsessed with currently? Um, well, true crime. Uh, Are you watching TV, True yeah, Crime? Yeah, I watch What are you watching? I watch, uh, I think I've seen them all. Um, we just started watching the the case against Adnan Syed, which I, of course, remember hearing the podcast, Serial. Serial. Oh, that's right. And you were right? born in France. I was. So I didn't get yeah. that either. You're not a French child no but you were born in I France. I was. So there's, the it says on Wikipedia, French-born actress... French-born American actress Yardley Smith. It's a it's a bit of a misnomer. It implies that I am French and now I got my American citizenship. I never had French citizenship. I was naturalized from the moment I was born because both my parents were American. And I actually tried to get a French passport, but they don't have reciprocity like we have in the States or like they have in the UK, where if you're born there, you're automatically entitled to a passport from that country. The French are like, no. Right, so they no. won't even give it to you. It's no. not they'll give it to you, but you have to give up your American. No, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. no. So you're not a French citizen. <laughs> no. Big deal. Big deal. <laughs> you can go back anytime you want, yeah. and you can make your mirepoix right That's here. That's right. I can make mirepoix right here. <laughs> so looking back on your life, um, any regrets? Um, that's a good question. I regret that I spent so much time living in the future. And the problem with doing that is that, and I maybe we talk about it, I can't remember if we talked about it in the podcast, but the problem with living in the future is that when great things happen to you in the present, you're not really there. And so either, A, you don't remember them, or they mean so much less to you because you don't remember them. 
Anxiety is related to the future. And yeah, so worry is all about future yes. dwelling. It's all about yes. that. So if you can yes. live in the present, yes. that can take you far. Yes. Ironically far I ahead. know, right? <laughs> it will get you to a much happier future. Yes. Yes. So... Yardley, thank you again for doing this. Make sure you're subscribed to Yardley's podcast, Small Town Dicks, and of course, Really Famous Podcast. And where should people subscribe? Everywhere you like to listen. iTunes, Spotify, our website, smalltowndicks.com, really everywhere. I'm with Yardley Smith, and she was just my guest on Really Famous, and you can listen to the whole thing on your favorite podcast app, and Yardley will give you an idea of what we talk about. We uh, did a really deep dive into my early career, which I haven't visited for quite some time, and, um, and then we got into the nuts and bolts of what it means to be successful, what it means to feel successful, what it means to feel unsuccessful. I think it was a really good conversation. I do too, for sure. I hope you do too. Thank you. Thank you.